Hey, this is the Teledad deck that you just saw win the finals in our Teledad format tournament. Uh, just a few things. There were two stipulations uh, for this particular format. First of was a lure was at two. Um, it sort of got bounced around thanks to upper deck. Uh, so we set it at two just so everybody was on a consistent page there. And the second exception was that all exceed monsters would be legal. Um, this was based off the Teledad format, which was September 1st, 2008. Anything that came out before March 1st, 2009 was legal. Uh, I believe Armory Arm was legal for like four days. Uh, Gale missed the cut by three days. Um, just as a couple key cards that I had people asking about and uh, saw people using. It was like, really, that was out. Thunder King came out in November. Um, so there were some fun tech cards that we did see people playing. Um, you know, they just realized, hey, these things came out, I can use them. Um, I chose to play a slightly stunned variant of Dad. Um, rather than playing triple Itali, triple Crabons, and sort of going turbo with it, like they're actually designed to do, I opted to cut one of each and play two Oppression. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much your standard Teledad build. You got double Dark Arm, Breaker, and Caius. Um... Breaker's really just there to bait out judgments. That's that's really it. If they don't judgment him, he's just going to pop the judgment. Um, he also works really well in case somebody else happened to be playing Oppression. Um, Caius, just as a tech of, uh, he really does put in work. I love Caius. Grefger sort of turbos the deck. Um, Diamond Dude, there's a lot of targets that he can hit um, for his effect to plus off of. Stratos, of course, searches the whole game. Um, triple Mally, Triple D-Draw is just fucking awesome. Like, I'm going to go back in time and play this format with this particular deck. Um, like I mentioned, the slightly smaller Telly engine in this particular build, Double Crabons, Double e Telly. Uh, the Tomato, I really didn't care for. Um, I think I summoned him once the whole tournament and just synchroed with him. Um, as for Reaper, Doomlord, Gardna... Uh, Plague, Sangin, and DD Crow, they all work with Crush Card Virus. Um, Reaper stalls out that, or stalls out everything except Dad, really, in this format. Um, Doom Lord's effect's a little underrated. He does work really well. Uh, but more than anything, he's just there for the Destiny draw. Um, you've got Necrogarden to stall plays. Plague's more synchro. I chose to use Plague over the third crab on 3D Telly. Um, Sangin the Crow. The Tech Crow is really just there for in case they get like their one Mally in Grave. Before they can go off, you just crow it. Um, due to stipulation, double lure, and then triple D draw, double E Telly. Uh, one ofs of our back row eight. Um, double reinforcement gets us into Griffer, Diamond Dude, Stratos, uh, Doom Lord, and Necro Gardener. Um, for all the various plays that those cards can make. Uh, Reborn, Mind Control are pretty much staple. Triple Judgment, this format just wrecked things because of Triple Judgment. Um, I came back playing competitive at the very end of this format. Uh, I remember I was playing a Light Sworn variant at the time. I didn't have Judgment Dragon, of course. I was a very cheap player, but I had pretty much everything else. I was using some of the more weirder tech spells and things that uh, Light Sworn has available to him. But it did work pretty well. I mean, Celestia still put in a lot of work. Uh, but I remember I lost one match. Uh, my opponent had 800 life points. And I ended up losing because over those last 800 life points, he was able to get into all three solemns and negate plays and ended up dropping dad. Crush card because it wrecks everything. Like, some men just want to watch the world burn, and after playing this tournament, I'm kind of one of them. I would love to see Crush card back. Um, it would totally change the way I play stuff. Uh, Double Wingman Blast was awesome in this format. It sets up dad, it puts Mally in the graveyard, it puts Plague in the graveyard. Um... It's just awesome. Double oppression because I wanted to, to just screw up everybody else that was playing Teledad in the tournament. Uh, or, or even GB, which was big at, at this time. Or zombies like you just saw in the finals. Um, as a stun type player, I understand playing around oppression. And people that aren't expecting it, they see oppression. It's just like, I can't do anything unless I hit MST or Heavy or something. Um, so it sort of it just fucks with their head, really. And then Dust Shoot because it's awesome. Uh, the extra deck uh, Synchro stuff was pretty staple choices. Um, I really didn't Synchro or go into much of anything throughout the course of the whole tournament. Most of it was just Dad putting in work. Uh, I did have a lot of Synchros in Game 1 in that final match. Uh, I ended with 
Um, Dad thought Ruler Stardust, but that's about the most I synchroed out of the entire tournament. Um, and then I just sort of chose some more staple exceeds um, that I thought would work pretty well in the format, given what we have. I got a handful of level threes. There's Reborn, there's Brain Control. Uh, so Zen Mains worked great, as well as Gachi with Plague and Crabons and Etelli if, uh, if you had no better play to make. Um, Blade Armor, we'd have quite a few Warriors. Uh, expecting the mirror, they would have quite a few for me to steal as well. Um, and then just Pearl and Mage Stroke if you needed to, to burn control something and just get it off the field, uh, that was the way to do it. In this particular format where Dad's doing all the work, cards like Gachi and Mage Stroke and Zen Mains would have really put in any work, but I don't think I actually exceeded it all the entire tournament. Um, so that's the profile. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.